Assalamu alaikum friends. Today in this video lecture, I'm gonna talk about specially for beam, column and slab. In this video, especially for those civil engineering students which are working on construction site because these are very important points and every civil engineer should be remember these points but especially for site engineer. So let's start and must watch this video from start to end then you are able to learn something new about beam, column and slab and also about lapping length. If this video is helpful for you, so don't forget Get to like this video and also subscribe the channel with press bell icon to get notification for new update civil engineering videos let's start so the first one is about lapping length and the reference is is 456 2000 let's start so here as per ice code 456 2000 they said that the lapping length should not be less than 75 centimeter many civil engineers and students they provide lapping length less than 75 centimeter so it should be not less than 75 centimeter we have different formulas for lapping length especially for beam column and slab so it's depend on your structure and also it's depend on your knowledge but it should be not less than 75 centimeter if you need about uh, lapping length for beam column and slab so the link is in the description of this video so you can watch about lapping length now guys the second one is also about lapping length and many civil engineers and students they provide lapping length at the end of the supports but it's 100 percent wrong we have to provide lapping length at the center of the column that's why because bending moment is zero at the center you can see lapping length should be provided at the center of the column must remember this point specially you can see in slab also you have to provide lapping length at the center because bending moment is zero at the center right it should be not provided at the end of the supports right now here we have the third one lapping length should not be provided at the same point lapping length should be not provided at the same point maybe it's provided buckling in column right you can see this is column right if you provide the lapping length if here are four numbers are six numbers and you provide the lapping length at the center at the same point so maybe it's provided buckling it will become like this right so we have to provide it lapping length at the center of the column but not in same point it should be different right the lapping length should be provided at the different points at the center right now we have the fourth one that's lateral ties should be provided closely spaced in lapping zone especially in column you can see this is column and we have to provide lateral ties near and closely at the supports so this is lapping zone so it will be close with each other but it should be normal at the mid you can see at the bottom zone and the, at the top you can see it should be closely spaced right but it should be normal at the mid for example if it's six inches here at the zone so you can uh, take seven inches or eight inches at the mid right it should be normal at the mid now we have the fifth one about stirrups remember guys that stirrups should be closely spaced near at support and normal at the mid like this one and column i've already discussed so you can see this is a diagram for rcc beam and here the stirrups are close near at support support is column you can see and it should be normal at the mid you can see here is normal at the mid and column and in beam it should be also normal at the mid but it should be closely spaced at supports okay because there are more stresses here therefore we have to provide closely at the supports but normally at mid so now come to last one and that's due to maximum stresses don't provide lap at column beam and slab and also remember that if the dia of the steel is more than 36 or 36 millimeter we have to not provide lapping length but due to maximum stresses we have to not provide 
lapping length it's danger for your structure so these are some useful points which i've discussed the front of you if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you next video goodbye